Hi, I'm wanting to share with you, I'm Jessica, I'm wanting to share with you how I keep my dreads the way they are, they're freestyle, I've done them myself, and it's something, um, I'm, I'm proud of my work, it's unique, I haven't seen it other places, and I think it's, it's time to do that. So I've been growing my dreads out for a pretty long time, actually, um, almost two years. So I also have quite a bit of length. I'll be able to share like this isn't dreaded, right? And then I can also show you the difference between when you're not doing a specific method of dreading and when you are. So right here, if you see my dreadlocks, this dreadlock for instance, I have specifically been dreading it and maintaining it on a monthly to probably every two months and that's why you get these really neat ringlets and you get this really neat behavior in here in the dreadlock it looks super cool and um and i can show you how to do that and so you have a dreadlock that looks gorgeous like that um that's the way my dreads are so I stopped dreading my hair, stopped that method to just simply grow my hair out and actually to cut them. And I noticed that my hair started dreading anyway. So here's where it's growing out. You know, it's straight, I have straight hair. By the way, dreads are easiest to do with curly hair. Um, and you can do it with straight though. I have straight hair. So, but anyway, um, this is what the dreadlock looks like without any method. This is just your standard run of the mill. I'm not even bothering to dread my hair. It will dread all by itself. So that's, it has more length. It's longer than what I have with the ringlets. But you literally see like where my work started, stopped right here, right? And then where this started. And it just kind of even wanted to, as it's curly, it even wanted to keep the momentum that I had going with it, right? But it eventually just did what dreads do and just started dreading on its own. The real bland, just kind of semi dreaded. You know, when they, I, people have asked me like, can you brush your dreads out? And I, no, I can use this as rope. It's very tough. This, yeah, I could brush that out. And I could not use it as rope. And they probably fall and break. And on and on. I've applied uh, bleach to these dreads. Colored them. And I don't recommend doing that exactly. But this right here, my dreads and the way I do them, um, they're strong this this is so bound in there it cannot it can't be broken I could tug on it and I'm just gonna have to get a different style mirror I really like the ends of my dreads too I leave a little bit of wispy on the on the bottoms like little paint brushes so anyway I know this is not the greatest I uh was going to just start working on my dreads and I thought, you know, I need to show the difference between applying some wisdom and thought and some neat, creative, easy to, easy um, steps to your dreads and to have awesome dreads. And then what happens if you just let your hair dread on its own, what it will look like. Here's one, you know, it's just really, I think it's not attractive. I think it gets that hippie yucky look. I always have people complimenting my dreads, telling me how cute and kept they are because when it looks like that up to the root and your dreads tell a story. Um, you know, you can see like this is how I got them going and it's, you can see like a little knot kind of where I started doing that. Um, I have some pretty thick ones 
Um, today, the main the main painting that I was doing was, do you see like these little these pieces of hair? This is going to be even much harder to show. So, if you pull like this, you start to see hair. There it is, right? Well, I don't want to get that. In growing out my hair, some of my dreads undreaded. Like, I already had bangs, but it did that all along my hairline. So, I'm either going to re-dread some of that or going to figure it out because I am very freestyle about my hair. And, and I mean more freestyle, like, not what my hair wants to do, but what I want to do with it. Um, because I could go either way, right? So, be careful not to cut... If you're doing anything like that, anything that's straight hair, there's a big difference between that and getting all this extra part. So, like I said, I was trying to grow my hair out. You can see it. And I'll be able to show you, not today, but with this much hair grown out, and that's not much. That's generally what I would use, about that much um, from the root to here to get it to do these ringlets and curls and curves and make it super dense and it will tighten up and it looks amazing so let me know um if you want to see more um be nice i um i'm really just jumping on here to see what happens but to share my knowledge i have been doing this for um 20 years so anyway, um, thank you. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe.